<sighs> I know, I know. This has to be the millionth tutorial on how to draw hands that you're watching at this point, since you've all been asking for it lately. Cause my name is Marcel, and today you're gonna learn how to draw hands like a sir. This video was a week-long effort with all kinds of visual aids. I gave it my all, and I hope it helps you guys out. That's all I have to say for the intro. The only thing that I might need to mention is that drawing is a process. So after you've watched this video, you know the theory, but you still need to get down the muscle memory as well. No tutorial out there can replace actual practice. Also, I've been thinking about doing like an XXL tutorial with all kinds of different poses and perspectives and wrinkles difference between male, female and children. But this video would amount to weeks of work, maybe I'll do that as some kind of big milestone special or something. Alright, that's it, enough with the introduction, let's just jump right into it. You guys know my tutorials go by now, I try to explain things as beginner friendly as possible by taking something and breaking it apart into its most simple shapes. That's the easiest and best way to learn how to draw hands as a beginner. You want to learn how to draw something, then you first need to know how it's built. One of the greatest artists of a modern time once said, First, an artist must concentrate and visualize his concept. That's right, and you can't visualize a hand if you don't know anything about it. So let's start from the beginning. Step 1 in drawing a hand is always drawing a simple brick for the base of the hand. And to that I just add some stickman fingers and a thumb. Now in today's video I'll show you how to draw fingers, the thumb and the back of the hand as well as the palm. I split it into those three chapters because if you can draw those three things you'll be able to draw a hand, at least in theory. Well, let's start with the fingers because... Uh, uh, well, we gotta start somewhere, right? So, here... Well, here are my fingers. And uh, one of my fingers consists of... Three equally long parts. That's precisely the reason why I draw hands like this, with three different strokes. I know how mundane this sounds, but believe me, this makes a huge difference. And I think this becomes a lot more apparent when drawing fingers sideways. Like I said, your finger consists of three equally long parts. Just keep in mind that the fingertip is round, since this part of a skeleton is shorter and round as well. Though the top part of the fingertip is not, because you still have your thumbnail on that side. I don't know about you, but to me, this looks a lot more organic than just drawing in some round shape and hoping that it kinda resembles a finger. But I have to admit, for quick sketches I draw fingers just with a couple of simple strokes as well. And it's not wrong per se, every volume of my manga series had at least a couple of pages where I drew fingers like that. But even then I checked my drawings by measuring if the fingers are too long or too short, that way even fingers that aren't very detailed would look acceptable. But make no mistake, if your finger has three equal parts, depends on how you look at it. Don't measure it from the knuckle, measure it the way I did before. For the sake of simplicity, we'll say that the knuckle still belongs to the back of the hand, not to the finger. That way all three parts are still in equal size. Speaking of which, I think I uh, might need a trip to the hospital right now. Now that was the first level. I hope you guys all understand how to draw fingers now. Since I sacrificed my middle finger for it, I hope that was worth it. I'll show you the thumb at the end of the video. Don't worry, you guys will understand why when the time comes. So, there's only one thing left to do. Let's continue by drawing the palm and the back of the hand. When it comes to the back of the hand, there's not a lot that I could tell you, the most important part will be the palm. The only important parts at the back of the hand are the knuckles and the tendons. Your knuckles aren't placed in a straight line here, they are placed in a fan shape. If you pay attention, you can see how this fan shape consists even with your fingers. And where can you check that? Right, at the joints where we split the fingers apart earlier. Now, one last thing when it comes to the back of the hand, your bones and tendons all originate from one point. 
In fact, your tendons lie on top of your bones, and that's precisely why you don't draw the knuckles round but more edgy. So you don't actually draw the knuckles here, but rather the tendons that lie on top. Yeah, and that's about it when it comes to the back of the hand, let's flip right over to the palm. Now let's split the palm into its single components as well, we've got your tenor, that's the heel of the hand, then there's your hypotenor, and then there's... Uh, well, this part has no medical terms since there's no muscles or anything here, so you can call it Steve or whatever I care, but for the sake of this video, just call it the base of the fingers. But... To be honest, I think this still looks way too complicated. After all, I want to make this tutorial as beginner-friendly as possible, so let's make the palm even simpler. I know, I can hear you guys moan, nobody cares about the palm of the hand, the fingers are the difficult part, not the palm. But once you're drawing hands sideways, or in another way, you'll find yourself struggling a lot if you don't know how the palm works. So yeah, I'm sorry there's no way around it, but it's not that bad, since you only need to learn these three parts in order to draw a palm and visualize it. And we all know that an artist has to concentrate and visualize his concept. That's pretty much it for the palm as well, the most important thing was the heel of the hand, since it's directly connected to the thumb. And that's why I wanted to show you the thumb at the end. You know, I used to draw the thumb as an oval shape on top of the heel, but as you can guess this isn't exactly anatomically correct. If you take a closer look you can see that your thumb has a middle part to it as well, just like your regular finger. Maybe it's a bit understandable if I'll show it to you guys from another perspective as well. Just always check if it still consists of three parts and you are good to go. And now that you know all three parts in theory, you only need to practice with it. If you wanna get started with drawing hands, just take it from me. Like you guys know, I started with a brick and some stick figure fingers. And then I add all the things we learned in the past 6 or 7 minutes. But please don't expect to draw perfect hands after this video. Like I said, you now know the theory, but you might still lack the practice. For some people it works out right away, others still might need to practice, and that's okay. Everyone has their own learning speed, this ain't a race after all. The only thing you need to learn by heart is the way the hand is constructed. Here, have a cheat sheet with all the relevant infos you need, and while we're at it, why don't we make a deal out of this? You can screenshot this sheet, and in exchange, you give this video a thumbs up. But despite everything, if you still have problems with drawing hands, there are a couple of ways to help you out. Okay, maybe this looks dumb at first, but if you really struggle with drawing hands, you can just mark your hands the way I did on my cheat sheet earlier. In my personal opinion, this method is so underrated and it could really help you out. Like I said in my last video, there are tons of people who prefer 3D models or maybe wooden anatomy puppets. Which is fine, I'm happy if it works out for you, but you guys know me. I'm a fan of the old school method of searching for real life photos online. I just think this method works out the best. And it's the cheapest. <coughs> Speaking of it, if you missed it, you can watch my last tutorial, it's all about perspective and it works out with drawing hands as well. So just give it a shot, I've linked it on the top right corner. Before you leave, please make sure that you screenshot the cheat sheet I showed you earlier, it's pretty important. I mean, if I didn't quote Mr. Squarepants enough times in this video already, I'm gonna do it one last time. An artist has got to... Select the model. Uh, uh, I think that might have been the wrong quote. Anyway, if you wondered what kinds of pens and erasers I use, you can just go ahead and check my website. I listed and linked it all there. And who knows, maybe I'll actually do an XXL hands tutorial at some point, so you might want to stick around for that. Well then, my name's Marcel, and I am very glad we have universal healthcare in Germany, reattaching fingers included. Although I might need to check that, J just give me a sec, I I'll see you in the next video, bye.